Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this design space tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can cut a word or a name out of an outline shape in design space. So for this example, I'm going to cut my name out of the outline of a heart. Let's get started. To start, I'm going to go into images and find a heart to use. So I want one that's the outline of a heart, so not something filled in like this one. I just want a nice outline to use. Now this one could be suitable, but because the line is different thicknesses all the way around, it will be difficult to get my font looking right and consistent with the line. So I'd prefer one where the line is the same thickness if possible. I'm going to choose this yellow one, so insert images and make it nice and big so it's easier to work with. Go into text and type out the name that you want to add. And then select the text and go into the font drop down. Now you can choose from the Cricut fonts, all ones on your computer. To filter it by just the ones on your computer, click the system button. And then you're looking for a font which kind of matches the outline. So I've got quite a thick outline. That yellow line around the heart is quite thick. So I want a thick font to use. And ideally you want a script font. So one where the letters will touch each other because then it will complete that heart all the way around. You won't have any gaps in it. So I'm going to scroll down and try and find a nice thick font to use. And I quite like this one which is called, oh gosh that's hard to say, um, Anordigos, maybe? I'll put a link in the description of this video. Um, but I like this one because it's a nice thick font. So it's going to match with the thickness of the yellow on the heart. Okay, now design space, when you and use a script font, it adds this huge line between each of the letters. So it doesn't join them up. And that's not ideal. That's not what we want. We want our letters to be joined. So to do that, make sure you've got your letter layer selected and then press ungroup. And this moves each letter to its own individual layer. So now what we can do is we can just click each one and drag it so that it's connected to the previous ones. Okay, so now I need to rotate them so that it will fit along the side of the heart. So select all of the letters by clicking on one layer in your layers panel, pressing control and then clicking on the others. When you've got them all selected, press group at the top of the layers panel and that just means you can move them all together now nice and easily. So I'm going to rotate it with a little arrow and make it a bit smaller so it's going to fit. So how this is going to work is we're going to cut out all of the yellow that you can see between the letters. But in order to do that, we need to make sure that the beginning of the S and the end of the H are going to form a nice shape out of the heart when we cut it. So at the minute, if we cut it now, um, it would look a bit weird because you'll have this gap of the yellow in with the S and also the end of the H. So what I'm going to do is ungroup my letters by clicking on the group and pressing ungroup. And now I can move each one individually again. So I'm going to make it so that my first letter covers the top and the bottom of the yellow. So you can see now this little bit of the S at the bottom is covering both sides of the yellow. I'm going to do um, a little bit of movement on the other letters just so that they're better following the line of the heart. So I'm just moving each one, making sure they're still connected but that it's better following the heart. And then with the H, I want that tick on the end of it to go above the top of the heart. So. I might need to move the whole thing down a bit so it's not too rotated against the A. But there we go, so now you can see the top, if I just zoom in, the top of my S down here is covering the top of the yellow and the bottom of the yellow here and the same thing on the H, it's covering that whole space and that's going to make it easier for us to cut the heart. So zoom out again 
and select all of your letters and this time we're going to press weld and that's going to join all the letters together into one layer. Sometimes when you weld it can fill in like the holes in the middle of the letters. If it does that, hit the undo button on the top left and then make your letters really big and try welding it again and that should fix it. Okay, so get your um, letters layer and then right click and duplicate and drag it on top of the other one. We want to make sure these are exactly one on top of the other because it's going to help us cut it out of the heart. So go into align and press center. Now when you do that you might find that it moves the word around a bit so that your first and last letters aren't going over both edges of the heart anymore. So if it does do that just keep an eye out and move the heart around so that it is all correctly lined up. In the layers panel click the eye next to the first version of your word just to hide it. So we only want the second and the heart showing at the moment. So select both those layers by clicking one of them and then press control on your keyboard and choose the heart. And then down the bottom press slice. So what that's done is it's cut the heart and the word out from each other. So you've got all these new layers called slice result. We don't want the ones that are the same colour as the text so we can right click and delete them. And then we also don't want this one which is kind of where that word was cut out. So right click and delete that one. All we want is the bottom one which basically shows you the outline of the heart but you've got this gap where your word was. And now if you turn on your other word layer by clicking the eye you can see that you've still got all of the details there. But what we need to do is hide the bits of yellow that are showing up between the word and the letters. So to do that, click on the heart and press contour down in the bottom right. Zoom in a bit to make it easier. And then you've got all of these little sections from where we sliced it and just click on those to hide them. So all of these little individual pieces we want to hide. And then when you close that, you can see you've got rid of them. So it's forming a nice line between the heart and your word. The last thing to do is just to click on the heart and change the colour to match your um, text and then make sure you're happy with how that's all looking. And then um, you might find, so for example on mine, I've got a little tick on the S where it's creating a little bubble where I haven't quite lined it up properly. You can fix that by going into shapes and choosing a square. I'm going to make it a bright colour so it's easier to see and then click the padlock icon and resize it so that it's a long thin line and then move it so that it matches the line of the heart and place it against it. There we go. So now with the line selected and the word press slice and then um, delete the first three slice results and now you can see that bubble has gone so now it's looking a little bit smoother where it switches from the heart to the word and you can do the same the other side if you want to as well so I won't do that just for this video but you can see I've got the H is kind of forming a little bubble you could get rid of that using the same thing Okay, so this is very nearly ready to cut. The only thing left to do is to weld these two layers together so that they're all cut as one continuous shape. So choose both of your layers and press weld. And again, if you find it notices it fills in bits that it's not supposed to, just undo the weld, make it really big and then try welding it again. So here is my um, finished design. And now I can change the size to however I want to cut it, let's say 8 inches. And then that's all ready for me to click make it and cut it out of vinyl or cardstock or whatever it is that you're planning on using. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more design space and Cricut tutorials. Thank you for watching.